So, good morning everyone. Uh, ito nga po yung BMW X5 na tinaw sa atin ngayong umaga. Problema po nito ay ayaw mag-start. So, the engine not cranking at all. So, dadiagnose natin kung ano yung naging problema nito. Bakit ayaw mag-start? So, I won't be able to detail everything that I'm going to do with this one because I don't have a cameraman. I'll just uh, put into uh, details when uh, I found the issue of this car. So first we're gonna check the voltage of the uh, battery if by using this uh, voltmeter and then we have to uh, test the condition of the battery by using the battery tester. The battery current voltage is just only 11 volts. Uh, this condition of the battery cannot start the engine, but this is not the the cause of the issue. I think uh, we try to test the battery afterward. We have to charge it first and then uh, test with the battery tester. Uh, the battery is charging uh, already. Pero nung kinabit ko yung battery charger na wala yung jump start, ayaw niya mag-charge. So, nagdi-blink lang itong kulay blue. So, sa mga battery pa lang ganito, pagka flat battery siya at i-charge mo diretso, nare-read nitong battery charger, ayaw niya mag-charge basta um, below 12 uh, volts yung battery. So, kailangan mong lagyan ng jump start para mag-activate yung, yung battery charger natin. So, ngayon nag-charge na siya. Pwede na natin tanggalin ito. Itong jump start. Yep. So, mananatili na siyang nag-charge pag natanggal mo na ito. We're going to test the condition of the battery. Both AGM flat plate CCA 3 DCC of the battery is 900 so enter so the battery test result is good but it needs to charge more so the health of the battery is 48% with 628 amps and charge 43 percent so we, we need to charge it until 100 percent so the result of the battery we confirm that it is still good so we try to start the engine to find out what's the problem with it. so yeah i already started but the starter didn't react and uh, even just a click sound cannot hear anything on the starter and if you can see there is a yellow triangle there that's the warning light for the starter motor we are going to this the power supply going to the starter solenoid the positive coming from the battery goes to the starter is okay we try to check the terminal on the starter solenoid let's see if there is a power supply when the ignition k goes to start position okay start so yeah there is a power supply start again yeah, there is a power supply, but the starter solenoid didn't uh, react anything. So we confirm that the starter solenoid has a problem, but still we have to replace the whole starter motor. So we found that uh, the uh, starter motor was uh, faulty on this uh, uh, VMW X5. Uh, so, kailangan natin palitan yung starter motor and 
reassess further after the repair.